God has gone up with a shout, the Lord with the sound of a trumpet. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear sisters and brothers in Christ, for 40 days we have been celebrating with joyful hearts the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, his bursting from the tomb, and his defeat of the powers of sin and death. He appeared to his disciples many times and told them about the kingdom of God. Today we recall how he left this earth and returned to his Father, ascending into heaven to take his throne over all dominions and powers, trusting in his reign over all creation and submitting to his kingly yet loving rule. Let us hear the story of his party. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. While staying with them, Jesus ordered them not to leave Jerusalem, but to wait there for the promise of the Father. This, he said, is what you have heard from me. For John baptised with water, but you will be baptised with the Holy Spirit, not many days from now. So when they had come together, they asked him, Lord, is this the time when you will restore the kingdom of Israel? Jesus replied, It is not for you to know the times or periods that the Father has set by his own authority, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, in all Judea and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. When he had said this, as they were watching, he was lifted up and a cloud took him out of their sight. While he was going, they were gazing up towards heaven. Suddenly two men in white robes stood by them. They said, Men of Galilee, why do you stand looking up towards heaven? This Jesus, who has been taken up from you into heaven, will come in the same way as you saw him go into heaven. Alleluia. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. Seeing we have a great high priest who has passed through the heaven, Jesus the Son of God, let us offer him the praise worthy of his name. So I invite you to join with me in saying the Gloria. Glory to God in the highest, and peace to his people on earth, Lord God, heavenly King, almighty God and Father. We worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy upon us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, Receive our prayer, for you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. And so the collect for this Ascension Day, let us pray. Let us pray that our risen and ascended Lord will lead us to eternal life. Grant, we pray, almighty God, that as we believe your only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, to have ascended into the heavens, so we may in heart and mind thither ascend, and with him continually dwell, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. so we come to our gospel reading. Hallelujah. Go and make disciples of all nations, says the Lord. Remember, I am always with you to the end of the age. Hear the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus then said to them, 
These are my words that I spoke to you while I was still with you, that everything written about me in the law of Moses, the prophets and the Psalms, must be fulfilled. Then he opened their minds to understand the scriptures, and he said to them, Thus it is written, that the Messiah is to suffer and to rise from the dead on the third day, and that repentance or forgiveness of sins is to be proclaimed in his name to all nations, beginning from Jerusalem. You are witnesses of these things, and see, I am sending upon you what my father promised. So stay here in the city until you have been clothed with power from on high. Then he led them out as far as Bethany, and lifting up his hands, he blessed them. While he was blessing them, he withdrew from them and was carried up into heaven. And they worshipped him and returned to Jerusalem with great joy. And they were continually in the temple, blessing God. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. The wonders of modern technology means that this little sermon or homily, and it's not very long, can be clipped into our communion service, which you may have joined. Um, I wanted just to speak a little bit about why we celebrate Ascension Day and why the church particularly um, finds the time between Ascension Day and Pentecost, ten days later, to be a really holy time. Last Sunday, or just the Sunday just gone at Rogation, I spoke a little bit and we reflected somewhat, I hope, on what we want to ask God for in our lives. And that's going deeper into what we're praying about at this time. I hope that along with this clip, if you got the email, you would have found a few prayer resources. And I would really encourage you, if you can, to join in with the Bishop of Norwich during these next 10 days at nine o'clock um, for Compline, night prayer, the, the final prayer in the church um, as the day draws to a close. It's a really beautiful service. So the prayer between Ascension and Pentecost is a time of deep prayer as we allow ourselves to reimagine for the Holy Spirit coming fresh upon those disciples with tongues of flame as we will hear next Sunday, or in 10 days time, at Pentecost. But what does it mean? What, what, why are we thinking like this? Why is it so special? If you listen to the entire communion service right at the end or just you know maybe you just want to skip to the end bit um, you will hear a reading from the book of Acts the first part of the book of Acts reading is at the beginning of the service and the second and then there's the second at the end and it talks about Mount the Mount of Olivet um, Mount of Olives I'm sure you know just outside Jerusalem and right at the top of the Mount of Olives um, there is an old Byzantine church um, it's no longer a church, it's actually now a mosque. And you go in, you pay your 20 or 30 shekels, and you go in to this really beautiful round chapel. And uh, it, it's wonderfully sort of evocative. First of all, you're right there high up, you can see for miles outside the chapel. But in the chapel, there's a, there's a stone on the floor, and there's a niche in the stone, and this wonderful tradition has come that that niche is one of the last footprints, or the last footprint, of Jesus before he ascended. What it makes you think about, or what it made me think about, or what we can think about, is the footprints of Christ in our lives. That was his last footprint, the last bodily footprint of Christ, or supposed last bodily footprint of Christ. Just to be sure, I didn't really think it was his last footprint, but I love the idea and the metaphor that it, it evokes in us. Because Christ has ascended, but he has left and continues to leave with us through prayer, his presence. How are we to be Christ's presence in this world? How are we, as we looked at Rogation, to bring Christ's goodness into this world 
through prayer. That's really our challenge. Perhaps our prayer for the next 10 days, continuing what we began on Rogation Sunday. Let me leave you with a famous prayer, which I'm sure you know, by Teresa of Avila. Christ has no body but yours, no hands, no feet on earth but yours. Yours are the eyes with which he looks compassion on this world. Yours are the feet with which he walks to do good. Yours are the hands with which he blesses all the world. Yours are the hands, yours are the feet, yours are the eyes you are his body. Christ has no body now but yours, no hands, no feet on earth but yours. Yours are the eyes with which he looks, compassion on this world. Christ has no body now on earth but yours. May God be with you all. Amen. So let us pray for the church and for the world and let us thank God on this Ascension Day for his great goodness in our lives. Jesus Christ, King of Righteousness, enthroned at the right hand of the Majesty on high, we pray for your church, that it may ever seek to follow your ways of love and gentleness in this world. We pray for the world that it may be subject to your gentle rule of peace and your gentle ways of love. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Jesus Christ, Son of Man, drawing humanity into the life of God, we pray for our sisters and brothers in needs, in distress and in sorrow. We pray especially for those who are apart from us at this time. For those whose health and welfare we have concern for. For those who are lonely. For those who are isolated. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Jesus Christ, pioneer of our salvation, bringing us to glory through your death and resurrection. Surround us with your saints and angels and surround all those who have died so that they may know your heavenly comfort and send your Holy Spirit to the hearts of all who grieve. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Jesus Christ, Lord over all things, ascended far above the heavens and filling the universe, we pray that we in all humanity may receive your great gifts and may follow your ways in this world. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Jesus Christ, keep the church in the unity of the Spirit and in the bond of peace, and bring the whole of your created order to worship at your feet. For you are alive and reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And in a moment of silence, we bring before our Heavenly Father all those things that weigh upon our hearts and our minds. So uniting our prayers, those said, those unsaid, those that stir deep within our souls, let us bring them before God and say together, Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ. Amen. And so we come to the peace. God is love, and those who live in love live in God, and God lives in them. 
as we come to share the peace. We share it with those in our households, but we also share it through our hearts with our neighbours and with our families, wherever they may be. The peace of the Lord be always with you and also with you. Let us offer one another a sign of peace. We have not been able, we have not celebrated communion in this manner since Easter Day. But as today is Ascension Day, it seems appropriate that we should at least endeavour to share communion spiritually if we cannot do it physically. I grieve that we are still apart and yearn for the time when we can all come together. Blessed be God, by whose grace creation is renewed, by whose love heaven is opened, by whose mercy we offer our sacrifice of praise. Blessed be God forever. The Lord be with you and with thy spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up unto the Lord. Let us give thanks unto the Lord our God. It is meet and right so to do. And now we give you thanks because after his most glorious resurrection, he appeared to his disciples and in their sight ascended into heaven to prepare a place for us. That where he is, thither we might also ascend and reign with him in glory. And so we say together, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of thy glory. Glory be to thee, O Lord most high. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Lord, you are holy indeed, the source of all holiness. Grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit and according to your holy will, these gifts of bread and wine may be to us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, who in the same night that he was betrayed took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Great is the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. Accept through him, our great high priest, this our sacrifice of thanks and praise. And as we eat and drink these holy gifts in the presence of thy divine majesty, renew us by thy spirit, inspire us with thy love, and unite us in the body of thy Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. By whom? and with whom, and in whom, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory be unto thee, O Father Almighty, world without end. Amen. And so let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Lord, we died with you on the cross. Now we are raised to new life. We were buried in your tomb. Now we share in your resurrection. 
live in us that we may live in you. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us peace. I heard the voice of the great multitude crying, Alleluia! The Lord our God has entered into his kingdom. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Alleluia! Let us pray. God our Father, you have raised our humanity in Christ and have fed us with the bread of heaven. Mercifully grant that nourished with such spiritual blessings, we may set our hearts in the heavenly places through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And reading again from the Acts of the Apostles on this Ascension Day. Then the disciples returned to Jerusalem from the mount called Olivet, which is near Jerusalem, a Sabbath day's journey away. When they had entered the city, they went to the room upstairs where they were staying. They were constantly devoting themselves to prayer, together with certain women, including Mary, the mother of Jesus, as well as his brothers. As we wait in silence, make us ready for your coming spirit. As we listen to your word, make us ready for your coming spirit. As we worship you in majesty, make us ready for your coming spirit. As we long for your refreshing, make us ready for your coming spirit. As we long for your renewing, make us ready for your coming spirit. As we long for your equipping, make us ready for your coming spirit. As we long for your empowering, make us ready for your coming spirit. This was, is intended to be a simple communion service on this holy day. As we prepare ourselves to enter into the ten days of prayer, praying for the Holy Spirit praying for renewed energy, praying for refreshment in our lives. And so the blessing. May the Spirit, who sets the church on fire upon the day of Pentecost, bring the world alive with the love of the risen Christ and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, be with you and all those whom you love this day and evermore. Amen. Waiting expectantly, for the promised Holy Spirit, go in the peace of Christ. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia.